Measuring Heights with the Equations of Motion for Freefall. The topic of this lab is freefall. The purpose? To use the equation of motion for freefall to measure the height of objects and compare it to theoretical values. Materials needed for this lab are one ball, one stopwatch, one tape measure, and one Altitrack device to measure angles. Here are some helpful pre-lab tips. 1. Follow the ball's motion with the stopwatch for more accurate and consistent times. Don't wait until the stopwatch reaches a point to start and stop the time, but anticipate the ball's motion. 2. Learn to use the alt track. 3. Practice throwing the ball before times are taken so the throws accurately reach the proper height of the intended target with the roof and flagpole. 4. For the stadium, make sure to throw the ball as perfectly straight as possible to make sure we are only measuring the effects of gravity in the y direction. Here we can see a demonstration of a trial for the flagpole. Here are the different times taken from the three trials. Take a second to copy these down. Measure out a distance greater than 50 feet. We have chosen 55 feet. Using the altitude track, measure the angle of inclination from the distance recorded. Record the degree taken from the altitude track. We recorded 24 degrees with an eye level of 4 foot 11 inches. Next, at the stadium, throw the ball horizontally. Try to throw the ball as straight as possible. Here's an example of a try. Here are the different times taken from the three trials. Take a second to copy these down. Again, measure a distance greater than 50 feet. During the stadium trial, we measured a degree of 20.1 degrees with an eye level of 4 feet 11 inches. Here you can see the final trial, which is the roof. Here are the different times taken from the three trials. Take a second to copy these down. For the last time, measure a distance greater than 50 feet. Yet again, we have chosen 55 feet. Our final ultra track readings were 10.2 degrees, with yet again an eye level of 4 feet 11 inches. For experimental heights, use the equation y final equals y initial plus voyt minus gt squared divided by 2. For theoretical heights, use tr trigonometric relationships involving the angle from the altitude track and distance.